Right then, so what we need to do now is um, make it so that we only have to work on half of this model. So, the first thing we need to do is delete half of what we've already got. So to do that, I'm just going to right click and hold on the, the body of the plane, I'm going to go into face mode. Uh, faces are nice and easy to delete really, and the easiest view for me to delete these faces will be the top view. So all I'm going to do is drag a selection over half of the model's faces, which will be those, and then hit backspace. Wonderful. So that will now get rid of half the model. So if I press number five to just see hardware shading, you can see that I've now just got half of the shape I originally had. Lovely. Right, I'm going to put it back into object mode. <coughs> now the next step is really clever. What we're going to do is create a copy of this, but it's what's known as an instance, which means that anything we do on this side will be duplicated instantly on the other side. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Edit and then go down to Duplicate Special, uh, but click on the click on the little options box to the side of it, uh, like that. Okay, and the way it says Geometry Type, we're going to change it to an instance, not a copy. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that we need to do is, uh, in fact before I do this, this is set up from a previous thing, you can see it says number of copies 4. So if it's like that, reset your tool settings first, there you go, now there is only one copy. So make sure it says instance and you want to um, create a mirrored image, so to do that you go minus 1 on the scale on the x axis. So these boxes go in alphabetical order, x, y, z. So this first one just needs to be minus one. And then when I click on duplicate special, ta-da, we get a copy. Now, here's what's really clever about this. If I put this uh, into vertex mode and just select some vertices, it automatically selects those identical vertices on the other side. And whatever I do with these vertices will be mirrored. Okay, there you go. Look at it. Look at it flap. It could fly already. Um, so that is what we're going to now be able to do with the rest of the modelling for this project. Which going down sort of the body, we won't notice too much. But when it gets onto doing the wings, it's going to be a massive, massive time saver. So very worthwhile. Okay, now we've got that set up, we can look at actually starting to shape this into the body of the plane in the next video.